Mayday, mayday, mayday. We have an emergency, man. We got the Livingstone College Blue Bears trying to defend their cave, their home, their house on their homecoming, but the Broncos are trying to stampede up in their house and take over their trap on their homecoming. Mayday, excuse me, please send back up. We have a great battle matchup coming up for you today. Game Day Nation, you already know the motto. <laughs> Let's ride. At the start of the game, the Blue Bears had some great momentum moving the ball on the ground through the first possession of the game. But with this throw by Silas Cruz, you would think that this game would be changed around quick as he almost gets it intercepted, but the Blue Bears come down with it. The Blue Bears are slowly but surely moving this ball down the field as Quadarius Smith gets this nice first down run. But on this fourth and long, Livingstone College quarterback Silas Cruz fails to connect with his receiver. Turnover on downs, Broncos ball. The Broncos take over for the ball and Malik head burst through the offensive line to get this next stop. The Blue Bears defense forced the Broncos to punt, but the Broncos said anything you can do, I can do better as they come up with this third down stop to force the Blue Bears to punt. Great defense by both sides. Now, I'm gonna need some explanation from Damari Daniels, quarterback for Fayetteville State. He's looking left, just peeks to his right, throws the ball and then rope to his receiver. I don't know how he's seen him, but he finds his receiver, Barry Elliott, who outruns the whole Livingstone defense for a touchdown for the first points of the game for the Broncos. With the Blue Bears getting the ball back, John Ox and that D-line started to turn it up as they get the stop in the backfield. And like I just stated, that whole Fayetteville State D-line was cooking as they come up with this sack on third down to force a punt. As the Broncos get the ball back, they found something within their old line to find something consistently to get the ball moving on the ground. The Broncos move the ball all the way down the field, and Damari Daniels finds his teammate Braxton Knox, who takes a hit, but stays on his feet, converts in for the touchdown, 14-0, Broncos. The Blue Bears get the ball back, and they're looking to make some offense happen, a certain Bryant comes up with this huge catch. On a huge pass interference call by the Broncos, Silas Cruz finds his receiver, certain Bryant, again, as he puts up points for the Blue Bears, 21-7, Broncos. The Broncos get the ball back, and this quarterback run by Caden Davis puts them in great field position to get some points before halftime. And with this jet seat by the Broncos, Barry Elliott gets his second touchdown of the game to put the Broncos up seven more points on the board as they're looking to dominate this game now, taking a 27-7 victory into halftime. And while I was eating my fish plate, the Broncos managed to take a kick return down to the 10-yard line, but the Blue Bears looking to hold the door. As soon as I put my fish plate down and start recording, of course something controversial happens. The Broncos throw a touchdown. He gets one, two feet in, but the defender from Livingstone doesn't quit fighting and smacks the ball out, forces the incompletion, field goal by the Broncos. The Blue Bears looking to move the ball again as the Corey Tussin gets this nice run to go for a good 20, 30 yards. As soon as the Blue Bears get some offense going, they throw a crazy interception right into the linebacker's hands. Contrell Cadwell comes up with a huge interception and puts the Broncos in great field position. And with the field position, the Broncos are looking to move the ball down the field, but Kevin Larkins comes up with a huge interception for the Blue Bears. But even with the great field position, the Blue Bears are still unable to convert it into any points as they get sacked again. And with the Broncos taking the ball back, they're looking to just run the clock out, but they're also looking to set a tone for any other team in the CI. They ain't ducking no smoke, they're coming into any trap, and they're trying to take it over. And like I said, man, the Broncos is just looking to run this clock out, take as much time as they can off the clock while leaving a message as well as they pick up this huge win over the Blue Bears, 44-7 and a dominating victory. And with the Broncos being 5-2 with an overall record and 4-1 in the conference, drop in the comments so you think is their next big matchup. It's Game Day Nation, and we'll see y'all next time. Y'all, it's game day. When the band is what you hear and everybody here is cheering, all your worries disappearing, y'all, it's game day. Whether televised or streaming live in person while you're screaming, no more waiting, no more dreaming, y'all, it's game day. When the band is what you hear and